Hey, we're back. It's Kyle Henderson along with Andrew Bone. He's on the line. He's our recruiting analyst at BamaInsider.com. Today, we're talking about another 2019 prospect, Nakobe Dean, big time outside linebacker, six foot one, 219 pounds, out of Horn Lake, Mississippi. And uh, as always, we're here with Andrew Bone. Um, Alabama's off to a tremendous start. Um, maybe uh, one of the surprise commitments was Shane Lee, but does. Um, where do things stand with Nicobe Dean? I mean, is Alabama certainly in the mix for uh, another top linebacker, another top rivals 100 linebacker? Oh, there's no doubt about it. It's kind of funny when uh, when Shane Lee committed to uh, to Alabama um, last month. You know, it, was, it kind of took a lot of people by surprise. He is a kid out of uh, out of Baltimore, uh, number one inside linebacker in the country uh, according to Rivals.com, and. You know, a kid who visited Tuscaloosa a week before the A Day game, and you know, didn't really didn't really talk a ton about him. Now, um, his teammate Yabi Anoma had signed with Alabama, five star, number four overall player in the Rivals 100, signed with Alabama in the 2018 class, and going to be uh, in Tuscaloosa here pretty soon. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people didn't know a lot about Shane Lee though, and he made an, an unofficial visit to Alabama. Really liked him. Decided to go ahead and jump on board. And as soon as he committed, I think I got about three or four text messages from from uh, different reporters, reporters who cover other schools, um, asking me if if Alabama was still going to take Nakobe Dean. And um, and there's no doubt about it. Alabama loves Nakobe Dean. They think he's one of the best overall players in the country, uh, regardless of position. And just a really smart kid, very physical. Uh, one of the best inside linebackers in the country. Um, and Alabama would love to uh, to add him in this class, and you know they're certainly uh, he certainly remains a, a top target for them. And um, yeah, I don't think he's going to decide anytime soon. I think he's going to wait it out, uh, enjoy the trips, um, and then uh, then make a decision down the road. But uh, Alabama certainly a a very very strong contender for him, and they have been for a long time. What are your thoughts overall about Dean as a player? Um, Rivals 100, he's a big-time linebacker. Mississippi's been producing a lot of uh, high-caliber players. Um, is he a guy that, for example, can make an immediate impact? I think so, and, and he's a smart kid. And I, the best comparison I have for him, and I, I've seen different comparisons, you know, some some I like, some I don't like. Um, but the one I really like the most is uh, – as uh, compared to Sean Dion Hamilton, I mean Sean Dion was, you know, came in kind of undersized, um, you know, six feet tall, six foot one, um, and probably about I think Sean Dion came in at about two hundred and thirty pounds, and and Sean Dion was a little, uh, I hate to say overweight, but he 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 just wasn't well put together. He's a great linebacker, but in terms of just putting everything together and just physically looking the part. Sean Dion did that once he got to Alabama and started working uh, uh, working with Coach Scott Cochran. But everything else is there. Mental aspect, there. Uh, just an extremely smart football player. And that's the same way that, uh, that N'Kobe Dean is. I mean, he's a, um, you know excellent student in the, in the classroom, which really transitions well over to uh, – uh, to being an excellent student in the film room and uh, you know learning plays and and calling calling the right signals and uh, just being a smart overall player out on the field, but also being a great leader. Um, and I think he's a uh, you know a, a great leader out there, and, and he's got a chance to. Uh, Nicobe Dean's got a chance to be one heck of a, a linebacker uh, at the next level. I, I definitely expect him to play in the SEC, and obviously there's a lot of schools that are coming after him pretty pretty strong and uh i think he's just going to be one of those elite linebackers that we're going to be talking about for uh you know for a long time we're on the line with andrew bone we're talking about nicobe dean outside linebacker six foot one 215 pounds class of 2019 rivals 100 linebacker big time offers alabama auburn clemson florida florida state georgia you name it he's got it um what what's the latest with dean and alabama and uh, wh which schools are in it for him? And um, talk also talk about the decision um, and time frame for Nicobe Dean. Well, I think he's going to wait a while. I think he wants to enjoy the recruiting process, uh, take official visits, take uh, take trips during the summer. Um, you know, kind of just narrow it down. Um, you know, we'll probably see him 
you know, release a top five probably early uh, in the fall or right after, uh, you know, right after he takes all his trips during the summer. Um, and then start taking taking some official visits this fall and, and maybe in uh, maybe in early December. Um, but we'll uh, you know we're probably going to see a decision either in uh, in December or or probably sometime in early January. All right. Well, stick around for more Class 2019 breakdowns. My name is Kyle Henderson, along with Andrew Bone. We've been doing this for the last couple of days, so be sure and find all our content back on our YouTube page. But our complete coverage is on BamaInsider.com. And if you're curious about becoming a premium subscriber, look for the free 30-day trial for Kyle Henderson and Andrew Bone. One more time from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This is the BamaInsider.com Class 2019 breakdown. Catch you next time.